the focus of the project was well drilling, well service, the heavy trucks that that industry produces, uh, wind farm development, and the super heavy loads that the turbines and blades uh, put across the highways, as well as saltwater disposal for uh, oil and gas development. Those type of things were the focus of the of the project and how they affected various aspects of uh, TxDOT assets within our right-of-way. Pavement was, of course, topic A. That was uh, big for the researchers. They uh, focused their efforts out in Abilene, Lubbock, and the Dallas-Fort Worth area and found uh, quite a bit of distress in those areas related to those, uh, those industries. It can be weight, uh, especially in, in the wind farm development areas. In the oil patch, uh, just the repetition of loads. Uh, you can have uh, legal loads running all day long, but if it's uh, a uh, frack job going on in a gas shale development, the initial frack can produce quite a few repetitions of the load, and likewise the saltwater uh, disposal facilities produce a lot of repetitions of those uh, legal loads. Funding, of course, is, is, a, is a huge issue, and I think that's one of the things that this report will highlight is as, uh, as energy development continues uh, apace in our state, in Texas, uh, especially in the gas-bearing shale formations that have become uh, uh, so um, busy in the last 10 years, uh, that as a basis, having some uh, statistical basis for showing the, the impact of that and using that as a springboard for um, additional funding uh, justification. That's one of the main, main components. I think another key component of that is, this, is the geodatabase that was produced. Using that as a, both a communications tool for TxDOT was a recommendation and as kind of a, a predictor of uh, future activity. And I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on that just a little bit. As a, as a communications tool, the, that geodatabase that was produced is a very visual, very graphical way to depict well permits and well development in any given focus uh, area. Uh, if, as they produce a, a graphical display of well permits and well completions in an area from year to year to year, you can actually see waves of, of wells progressing across a screen. If you then show your audience the pavement distress and how that has progressed through the years, it, it paints a very vivid picture of what, uh, what energy developments in our state are doing to the transportation infrastructure. As a predictor tool, uh, for those of us in TxDOT, especially if you're in a maintenance section and you hear horror stories from your colleagues two or three counties over, if you're watching this geodatabase and watching the animation from year to year, you can see this wave coming at you, um, or, or if you're unlucky, moving away from you and you're in the wake of, its, uh, of the distress that it leaves uh, behind. But as, as, as a communications tool and a predictor of uh, future needs, it, it was probably the, the centerpiece and the highlight uh, of the whole project. And if it's not in your area yet, it could be soon. If you look at the formations, they, they cover all four corners of the state. If you're in Texas, the chances are this is going to be an important, uh, uh, an important piece of research to you someday. And uh, getting familiar with the tools and the recommendations, I think, uh, uh, are certainly beneficial to anybody.